Herbert Hoover was born in West Branch, Ohio in August 10, 1874. The parents of Herbert Hoover died when he was very young. He, along with his brother and sister, were brought up in Oregon. On February 10, 1899, he married Lou Henry. The couple both spoke Chinese and did this whenever they wanted to keep conversations private. Herbert Hoover was a Quaker and he affirmed his presidency rather than taking the oath to office. In 1929, when he was 54 years of age, Herbert Hoover became the 31st president of America. He served for four years until 1933. Herbert Hoover was a self-made millionaire by the time he was 40, earning his money from engineering, owning silver mines, and writing his own books on mining engineering. This blew my mind. He was the first U.S. president to have a telephone placed directly on his desk. Leave me alone. He also had two pet alligators, occasionally wandered around the White House. I'm going home. In 1931, he gave the approval for the U.S. National Anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. And on October 28th, 1964, Herbert Hoover died in his hotel room. He was only one of four U.S. presidents to reach the age of 90 years old. And his body is laid to rest at his birthplace in West Branch, Iowa, is what we're told.